Today, we're gonna try to see if we can 3D print our own leather stamps. Now, since my last 3D printed episode here where I did a skull from Halo, I had a bunch of you asking me if it'd be possible to 3D print our own leather stamps. I thought it was a cool idea, but then when one of my Patreon members, Eric E, mentioned it, um, I decided it'd be a cool thing to try to tackle. Mostly because I'm willing to try whatever my high tier Patreon members like me to do. Because of them, I can do any of this. <laughs> so I've decided to try to test this out. I'm gonna try to make a stamp of our new logo here. First, I open my file up in Photoshop. Next, I go to the 3D panel here next to Layers and select 3D Extrusion, then press Create. This transforms my image into this three-dimensional object. From here, we just need to select 3D at the top drop-down menu, export 3D layer, and then export it as an STL file. Now, I know Photoshop is expensive, but I did a little bit of research and I couldn't find out if GIMP did this. GIMP is very much like Photoshop, but it's free. So if any of you know if GIMP actually has this capability or know of other freeware people could use to do the same thing, please leave it in the comment section below. Okay, from here, I open up that STL file in Blender and press S to scale up my size. As you can see, the tree is exactly how we want it in this three-dimensional space here, though it is a little thick. To fix that, I just press S and then Y to scale it only along the Y axis and thin it out a little bit. Then I scaled it down just so it didn't take up so much space by holding S while moving my mouse. Now that we have this as a more manageable size, I decided to add in a cylinder so that we have a striking surface. After scaling it up, I pressed R and then X so that it would rotate only along the X axis. Then I selected the tree and pressed G on my keyboard so that I can move it around to match up the face with my cylinder. As you can see, I pushed the tree a little bit into the cylinder so that it's just sticking out enough to make a stamp. Now again, I just press S and Y to scale down that cylinder along only the Y axis, just so it's not so big. Cool, with that looking good, I just selected everything, right clicked, and pressed join to make it all one piece. Then pressing R to rotate, I just lay it down flat so that it'll print flat. From here, I just exported the whole thing as an STL file again. That file I then opened up in my Cura slicer, just to scale it and get it ready for printing. And once I was happy with that size, it was off to my printer. And because it was only roughly a 20 minute print time, I decided to try out a couple of them, including one much larger one. All right, results are in. So after a little bit of testing, I found that at least with my 3D printer, these smaller ones, about an inch in diameter, uh, is just too small. As you can see, in some cases, the tree didn't even print at all. And in other cases, it actually did the reverse. It left kind of a negative indent here, which actually might be kind of cool if I'm working with like clay and I want to have like a raised tree or something. But this big chunky boy here, this two inch one, this worked like a charm. To use it, I just put it into the book press with my piece of leather, but you could definitely use just like a clamp or whatever. And the image it made actually came out really clear. So yeah, I call that a win. And I'm sure if you use like a dowel on top of it, you could probably hit it with the hammer. I, I just found if I hit it with the hammer, it just made it bounce around the way it is. But yes, verdict, it is a doable thing. And I'm sure if I was better with my 3D printer or if you have one that's capable of finer detail than mine is, you can get really small stamps done too. So there you go, I hope that answered your question. It is a doable thing, just with some caveats. And because I have this now, and it's because of a lot of your comments that I decided to try this out, how about you leave hashtag stamp down in the comment section and I'll pick five of you at random and I'll send you like a little, a little keychain with the stamp on it. All right, that's it for me. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and you want to see some more. In the meantime, though, keep leveling up, you. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end screen. YouTube likes it when you stick around to the end screen because it means you enjoyed my content long enough to stay here. It also likes when you jump to other videos recommended on the end screen here. So if you want to support, it's not a bad way to do so. Go ahead, click on one. I think you like that one right there.